If you are over the age of 60 and feel perpetually exhausted, if every morning feels like a struggle just to lift your head, if you've been told your fatigue is just part of getting older, then stop scrolling immediately. I'm going to reveal the single most overlooked yet incredibly common cause of debilitating fatigue in seniors that most standard annual blood panels completely miss. It is not low B12, it is not a sluggish thyroid, and it is not a simple lack of sleep. This condition affects your energy production at the cellular level, and when corrected, it can feel like you've turned back the clock a decade. This is the hidden energy thief that your doctor likely isn't testing for, and knowing about it is the first step to reclaiming your vitality. The narrative around aging and energy is fundamentally flawed. We are conditioned to believe that a slow, steady decline in our energy reserves is simply the price of admission for reaching our senior years. We are told to accept it, to slow down, to manage our expectations. When we bring our concerns to a physician, the first and most common diagnostic steps are usually logical. Check for anemia, check for thyroid function, check vitamin D and B12 levels. And often, these come back within the normal range. This is where the frustration sets in. You feel absolutely drained, yet all the standard markers say you're fine. The problem is that normal for a lab test does not always equal optimal for your body, especially as you age, and more importantly, the tests being run are often looking at the wrong part of the energy production chain. Imagine your body as a high-performance car. The fatigue you are experiencing is like the car sputtering and refusing to accelerate. Your doctor checks the gas tank, anemia, and the spark plugs, thyroid, finds them okay, and then tells you the car must just be old. But what if the problem is a blockage in the fuel line itself, or a malfunction in the engine's ignition system? That blockage, that malfunction, is often related to a crucial element that is depleted by common medications, poorly absorbed as we age, and absolutely essential for the powerhouses of your cells, the mitochondria. Mitochondria are the tiny organs inside nearly every cell in your body responsible for creating adenosine triphosphate, or ATP. Think of ATP as the literal currency of energy. Without enough ATP, your muscles feel heavy, your brain feels foggy, and every task requires monumental effort. To create ATP efficiently, the mitochondria need a specific coenzyme. Without sufficient levels of this coenzyme, your mitochondria are running at maybe 40% efficiency. You're trying to power a 1,000-watt light bulb with a 400-watt generator. The fatigue is not a psychological failing or an inevitable aspect of aging. It is a clear, quantifiable energy deficit at the cellular level. Why is this condition so often missed? There are a few reasons. Firstly, standard primary care panels are focused on detecting clear pathology, not subtle deficiencies that cause quality of life issues. Secondly, the symptoms, general tiredness, muscle weakness, brain fog, are incredibly nonspecific. They mimic dozens of other conditions, including depression or simple lack of sleep, which leads to misdiagnosis or simply being dismissed. Thirdly, the decline of this coenzyme in the body is a gradual process. You don't wake up one day suddenly deficient. It's a slow erosion that you gradually adapt to, until one day you realize your baseline energy is dangerously low. By the time you feel bad enough to complain, the problem has often been building for years. Finally, some of the most common medications prescribed to seniors, particularly those for heart health and cholesterol management, actively deplete the body's natural stores of this critical substance, accelerating the decline and intensifying the fatigue. The challenge in senior health is that we must move beyond the basic parameters of health and look at cellular vitality. When you are young, your body is incredibly resilient and can compensate for minor shortages. As you cross the 60-year threshold, that buffer zone disappears. Your body demands optimal fuel and optimal conditions to function well. A slight dip in a critical coenzyme that a younger person could easily shake off can translate into profound, life-altering fatigue for someone over 60. Understanding that the root of your fatigue is likely a specific cellular power shortage and not just getting old is the essential bridge to the solution. 
It empowers you to ask for specific, targeted testing and to implement focused nutritional and supplemental strategies to correct the deficit. This is a solvable problem. It is not a life sentence. The feeling of being constantly tired is your body's alarm system, and it is pointing directly to the hidden energy thief we are about to reveal. Prepare to learn about the substance that is the cornerstone of your body's energy production and how to restore its levels to finally feel energetic again. Core Solution The number one overlooked cause of debilitating fatigue after the age of 60 is a deficiency in coenzyme Q10, or CoQ10. Specifically, the form your body uses for energy, ubiquinol. This is the hidden energy thief. Here is why it is so critical, why it's missed, and the three-step plan to address it. The role of CoQ10 and why it's missed. CoQ10 is a fat-soluble, vitamin-like substance that is absolutely essential for the electron transport chain inside the mitochondria. It acts like the shuttle bus that moves electrons along the chain to ultimately generate ATP, the energy molecule. Without enough CoQ10, the entire process stalls and your energy production plummets. Why your doctor isn't checking for it? Non-standard test. A CoQ10 blood test is not part of the standard complete metabolic panel or basic physical. It is a specialized, costly test that must be specifically ordered. Age-related decline. The body's natural production of CoQ10 peaks around age 20 and then steadily declines. By age 60, your natural levels can be significantly lower. The statin connection, the secret data point. This is the crucial authority point. According to data from multiple large-scale clinical reviews, HMGCOA reductase inhibitors, the class of drugs known as statins, commonly prescribed for high cholesterol in seniors, block the same metabolic pathway in the liver that produces natural CoQ10. This means that if you are on a statin, your body's ability to produce its own CoQ10 is significantly hampered, often leading to CoQ10-related muscle pain, weakness, and most importantly, fatigue. This is a well-established pharmacological fact, yet many doctors fail to proactively recommend supplementation alongside the prescription. The three-step action plan to reclaim your energy. This plan is focused on restoring your cellular energy production by optimizing your CoQ10 levels. Step one, get the right type and dosage of supplementation. Do not just buy the first CoQ10 bottle you see. CoQ10 comes in two forms, ubiquinone and ubiquinol. Ubiquinone is the oxidized form and is harder for the body to convert and use, especially as we age and our digestive and enzymatic efficiency decreases. Ubiquinol is the active, reduced form. It is highly bioavailable and is the form that your cells can use immediately for energy production. This is the one you need. Dosage recommendation for discussion with your doctor. A common and effective therapeutic dose for addressing deficiency and fatigue in seniors is typically 100 to 200 milligrams of ubiquinol per day. If you are on a statin medication, a higher dose may be necessary. Always take CoQ10 with a meal that contains healthy fats, like avocado, olive oil, or nuts, because it is fat-soluble and requires fat for proper absorption. Step 2. Optimize your dietary sources. While supplementation is the most direct route to quickly restore levels, you can support your baseline intake through food. CoQ10 is naturally found in foods that are high in energy and rich in mitochondria themselves. Organ meats. Heart and liver are the richest sources, though often not palatable for many people. Fatty fish. Mackerel, sardines, and wild salmon are excellent sources. Nuts and seeds peanuts, sesame seeds, and pistachios. Oils, soybean and canola oil contain moderate amounts. Cruciferous vegetables, broccoli and cauliflower. The key here is consistency. While diet alone is often insufficient to correct a severe deficiency, a CoQ10-rich diet supports the maintenance of healthy levels once supplementation has raised them. Step three, consider drug-nutrient interactions and review your medications.
If you are experiencing significant fatigue, the most important conversation you need to have with your healthcare provider is a review of your current medications specifically through the lens of nutrient depletion. Statins. If you are on a statin, you should proactively ask your doctor about supplementing with ubiquinol to mitigate the known depletion effect. Frame it as optimizing the effectiveness of your treatment and reducing side effects. Beta blockers and tricyclic antidepressants. These and a few other classes of common senior medications can also interfere with CoQ10 and B vitamins. A comprehensive medication review is a must. Never stop a prescription medication without consulting your doctor, but use this knowledge as leverage for a productive conversation about supportive supplementation. Addressing CoQ10 deficiency is not a medical miracle. It is simple, targeted biochemistry. When you provide your cellular powerhouses with the fuel they need, the ubiquinol form of CoQ10, the fatigue lifts, not because you've masked a symptom, but because you've corrected a fundamental energy deficit. You are not just getting older. You were running on an empty tank, and now you have the map to the gas station. Reclaim your right to an energetic, engaged senior life by addressing this hidden cause. If you are ready to move past the myth that perpetual exhaustion is a necessary part of aging, then take the steps we've outlined today to look into your cellular energy levels. The solution to your fatigue is likely more specific and more actionable than you ever thought possible. Knowledge is power, and knowing to ask your physician about ubiquinol and a complete medication review is the key to unlocking your energy. Do not settle for normal for your age. Demand optimal. If this information has given you a new path forward in your health journey, please hit the like button and subscribe to Health Elderly Living with Dr. Mia. We are committed to bringing you the crucial, research-backed information you need to thrive in your senior years. Let me know in the comments what other health topics you would like to see covered on this channel.